get back in here, cat. Right now. Let my music touch you. All right, George Harrison wrote this, but let the music touch you, bitch. Well, I'm back on Fallout because some people enjoy my Let's Plays. I hate... So I wonder what's up on your end. I know what's up on my end. My life isn't very interesting. Like my therapist, you know, because I see a therapist. What a surprise. Oh my god, he sees a therapist. He seemed like such a well-rounded human being. I can't believe it. It's true. A toothbrush. Yeah, I'll leave the squirrel bits. I do see a therapist. Last time I was in therapy, I was talking about my life, because that's pretty much all what therapy is. It's like you go in there and you bitch to somebody. Auf mein dunklen Lebenswegen gewesen wäre. Und davor habe ich Angst. I'm sorry, I I don't understand German. That's it. And they're paid $60 to let you bitch. By this law, your friends are therapists. Because technically, they listen to you bitch, but it's free. It feels kind of criminal to have to pay someone. You know, because on television, you see people go to a therapist and they talk. And then it's like they have this major breakthrough. Like, oh, my father never, oh, that's right, my father. Yes, Jimmy, let it all out. I understand now, therapist. Yes, this whole time. It wasn't your father, it was you holding you back. I'm free, God bless you. No, that's not how it goes. In therapy, you show up, you sit there, and it's fucking awkward. They're like, it is for me. I fucking show up, and my therapist looks at me, and then there's like this silence between us. Somebody killed a lot of motherfuckers here. There's like this silence, and, and I go, I, I don't know what to say. And she's like, well, you could sit here and say nothing if you want, it's your time. I'm like, well, I'm gonna say something if I have to fucking pay. That's for damn sure. You will hear something. <laughs> Even if it isn't productive, you will hear something I'm paying. So the session goes on. And then, like, we get on the subject of my father. And I, I kind of go, maybe, you know, it has something to do with my dad being a complete douchebag and abandoning me. And the therapist is like, okay, I'll see you next week at nine or three or whatever. And I'm like, wait, wait. I thought we were making a breakthrough. I'm realizing some things. I'll see you next week. Like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Like, really, she doesn't do anything. She does try to get me to go to her extra stuff. She's like, do you want to come to my group meeting? And I'm like, no, I don't want to go to your group meeting and yes. sit with all these other depressed people. The world is burning. Let's masturbate. I tell you what, man. I tell you. I've seen fucking houseplants of the brighter future than me. My home life is ridiculous. It's a give and take relationship. My girlfriend gives me shit and I take it. And, we don't and I'm sure she'll see this later. And she'll tell me that I'm an asshole for saying it. And we don't that I'm abusive. I'm an evil dork wad. <laughs> we were like kind of arguing earlier. And you know what she said? Like I go, you're abusive. You're abusive to me. And she goes, you're abusive to me. And I'm like, what I do, I leave you alone. And she goes, that's right, that's abuse. And I'm like, that's not what abuse is. Am I even shooting someone? Raiders have fantastic eyesight. I definitely took a bullet. Okay. I don't know where I am, but... I'm out of... I'm not... I cannot be... Get out of the way, dog meat. No, boy. I'm out of bullets. You're supposed to fight in my stead. Suck a dick! A fat one! Club this bitch. Club this bitch. You're gonna get the shit pistol whipped out of you. How many magnum fires can this bitch take? This is a fucking sequoia. Hold on. They gotta do it the hard way. Aid. Do I even need aid? Am I even hurt? Barely. I'm wearing enough armor to fucking take on a tank. No, I don't like that one. Let's try this one. God damn. 
Maybe I need to add a realistic bullet mod to fuck the fallout. Cause this is ridiculous. It feels like I'm playing the division right now. I'm playing the fucking division. Chem station. Bullets. Painkillers. Psycho. Psycho? I haven't done drugs in a while either. That's bad jet. Increased action point. Recovery rate. Nah. Well, let's eat this nasty meat. You know, there should be some sort of penalty for eating irradiated shit. Buff tats. Trippin' balls. Have a ball trip with me, you cocksucker. Nice gear, faggot. My blood is fucking blue. Beat the shit out of him, yeah! Fuck yeah! Do I have any other attack buttons? This is going nowhere. Am I even hurt? Like, no? Oh my god. Everything here is so out of balance. Now the shotgun will kill him too quickly. Oh, you're fucked. I'm like silently playing the game. That's not how Let's Plays go. What is that on the floor? Oh, this is fully auto. You miss, fuck base. If you're wondering why my drugs have an effect on my character, it's a mod I'm using. Uh, I would tell you what it was if I knew the name of it. And there goes his head. It like came off unrealistically though. That's a nice mask. Kick his head somewhere I can see it. Kick it. Alright, pick it up. Ah, eh, fuck it then. Who gives a shit? You know, I gotta say, I hope game AI improves one day. I really do. Like, they need game AI with, like, my sensibility. Like, if I was a raider, right, and it, this fucking heavily armed motherfucker came in and killed all my comrades, I wouldn't be waiting in a corner to shoot the motherfucker. I'd be like, oh shit, she ripped Fred's head the fuck off! I'm done, I'm leaving! Goodbye! Take my money! I mean, when I was growing up as a kid, I grew up in the ghetto, right? Obviously, as you can tell from my vernacular, I'm quite street savvy. I keep it real. I'm kicking the flavor. Swag, bitch. wonder what's over there. I'm curious. The sky is beautiful with cat eyes. I like how that nebula pops in and out, in and out, but then there it goes. All right, so back to my point, I grew up in the ghetto. Now, obviously, I'm the illest motherfucker you ever did see, and the, the rules of the street was the survival of the illest. Anyway, so one day while walking from school, me, David, and Danny, Danny was half white, okay? I don't care what Danny tried to tell anybody. I don't care how Danny acted. Like, Danny would wear, like, do-rags, right? But Danny didn't have black hair. You know, it was like, Danny, what are you doing? He's like, I'm wearing a do-rag, yo. And he always talked like that, too. It was like I was going to school with John fucking Cena. You know, I'm just trying to work my curls. I'm like, Danny, you don't have any curls. This seems disingenuous. I mean, sure, he was half black, but the white half was a fuck ton stronger. So, you know, we're walking to school one day. And I don't recommend you kids at home do this, but most of my... Oh, somebody shot my dog! Holy shit! So I suggest you don't do this at home, even though most of my watchers are like adults. So we're walking down the street, me, David, and Danny. And Danny screams out loud at this group of large black men. He screams out loud, I swear to Christ. What's up, niggas? Like that. Me and David turn white. We're like, oh my god. I said, Danny, you did not just do that. You did not just do that. 
He's like, it's cool. I know those niggas. I'm like, Danny, please stop saying that. You know we can't say that and get away with it. All right. It doesn't matter what race we are. We don't come off right saying it. You know, you're not 50 Cent, and I'm damn sure not Ice Cube or Tea or whatever ice there is. I'm Lemon Ice Tea. So we keep walking, right? Before you know it, I, it was like the, it's like that TV show, the, the Walking Dead. You know how like those zombie hands just shoot out and grab someone and yank them in? That's what happened. Like we're walking down the street, all of a sudden, all these black hands come out like wraiths, like fucking The Witcher. You know how some of those noon wraiths have black hands? They all wrap around Danny and they yank him away from us. Like he just vanishes like instantly. David goes, oh my god, what the f- Danny! And I go, David, don't look back. David, don't look back or you will die with Danny. It's like fucking, it's like the Bible. Like, if you look back at the, the land where all those people have sinned, you will turn to salt. Whatever you do, don't look back. Because if you do, they're gonna come after us. Oh shit, that rocket totally missed. So, we keep walking up the street, and they beat the ever-loving fuck out of Danny. They beat him. I wait till we're up the street. Pretty far up. Like, if we started running, there's no way they catch our scrawny asses, because we were damn good runners. We, I turn around, I look up the road, or down the road, and they not only beat Danny, they took all of Danny's shit. And they, they threw it all over the streets. So I look back. They're beating Danny. They're shaking him around like a goddamn dry martini. They're, they're shaking the fuck out of Danny. They're beating him. They're shaking him. They took his book bag. And then they threw it all over the goddamn ground. They spread his shit around like they're sprinkling sprinkles on a frosted Sunday. So we keep walking. And I'm like, just leave Danny. He made his bed. You know, just leave him. Fuck it. There's no sense in us getting wrapped up in this. Later up the road, Danny catches up with us. He's in tears. You know, he's crying. He's upset. There goes that raider's body. And he's like, yo, why did you guys come over and help me? And I look at him and David goes, well, you said you knew those niggas. And I'm just like, oh, God. And he's like mad at us now. It's like, Danny, why would you say that to those dudes? Like, these were hardcore black guys. They're huge. You know, if they were in high school, they stayed back, like, ten years. Because that's how big they were. Like, these were not black guys you'd ever look at and say something like that to, unless you were a big black guy yourself. Like, you needed to be Kimbo Slice to say this shit to them. Long story short, growing up in the ghetto is a lot like growing up in Fallout. And if I came across bad motherfuckers like the character I'm playing, I'd leave. Yeah, you know, if I saw this, the female character I made killing the dudes I was with, I'd get the fuck out of there. Just start running. There's no sense in involving myself in this bloodbath. Nor was there any sense in involving myself in fighting with Danny. He, he started that for himself. And you could call me a coward or whatever. There's something called fighting losing battles. And me trying to punch those big black guys would be like me throwing a grape at them. Like, eh, get your hands off Danny. They're like, what the fuck is this Jewish looking motherfucker saying to me? And like, I'll do your taxes, just don't kill me.